everyone, this is Pam, Rose City Stitcher, coming to you with a WIPCO um, planning video. Uh, today is Sunday, uh, December 19th, I believe. So I'm out of school now, so I have a little bit of free time, so I've been doing a lot of planning, so I decided I'd go ahead and do my WIPCO 2022, share that with y'all so you can see what my plans are. Uh, I'm really excited about them. I'm really excited about all the projects I have on here and what I've decided to to do next year. I've tweaked a few things as I've watched other people. So now uh, I think I've got it set and I'm ready to, sh to show them to you. I'll be doing some other videos also through the next few weeks. I do want to do a finish parade, show you all the finishes that I did because I do have 24 finishes this year, which I'm real happy about and hoping to get at least one more, maybe two. Uh, before the end of the year so I do want to show you that uh, and kind of a planning video it'll be kind of a short planning video because the whip goes going to be a lot of uh, what the plans are and what you'll see in a minute when I show you those uh, but I may do just a quick little planning recap and stats video of kind of how the year went and ended up and I don't know about doing a whip parade or not let me know if y'all want to see that because I do still have a lot of projects. I did go down a little bit. Last year I had like 84, 85. This year I didn't go down much. I went down to about 78, but I do plan on a UFO in several projects. That was kind of what I did when I did my WIPCO planning was, you know, what did I not work on at all and what do I not want to? So uh, there are several that I'll probably UFO for next year. So just let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to see a WIP parade, I'll be more than happy to do one. Uh, if you're not really that interested, that's fine too, because they do take some time. Uh, but I don't mind sharing that if y'all like to, to see that. Uh, so, let, let, <coughs> oh, excuse me, goodness. Um, my cold is pretty much gone, but I still have a cough just here and there. And I'm sorry about the quality of the video. It's a little, it looks a little blurry to me. But when I had the, the blinds open, it's like it had such a glare on my glasses that I felt like that would be even more disturbing. So I'm doing the best I can so I can show you what I've got. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's my WIPCO board. And I'm just going to go through everything that's on it, show you the projects that I'm going to be doing. Uh, all the projects I'm making real easy. It's going to be just five days. So all my projects I'll work on for five days. In five days, I should be able to get a lot of progress made on them. And, you know, I'm kind of planning to do Monday through Friday, work on them, and then the weekend I'll reserve to work on kind of whatever I want. But if I miss a day, which of course does happen with school, when school's busy, I, you know, may end up missing a day, and then that still gives me the weekends to catch up on my days so I can still meet my WIPGO goal. All right, so with that said, and what I did for my WIPCO th this next year, I looked at everything. I'd been kind of keeping a tally of what I had stitched on through the year, and I looked at what I did not stitch on last year at all and looked at, did I want to? Did I just not get to it because I have so many, or did I not want to? So most of my WIPCO projects are going to be projects that you haven't seen all year, um, or they're projects I started this year. So that's kind of what the whip goes going to be. It's projects I didn't work on at all last year, and I feel bad that I, or this year, that I didn't work on, that I want to make sure get a good bit of progress next year, or they're projects I started this year and maybe didn't get a whole lot done, and I want to make sure I get some work done on them next year. So that's kind of what, the, what most of them are with a few other little things thrown in. So the first one is Aladdin. Uh, by Soda Stitch. And like I said, I didn't work on this at all last year. And I hate that I didn't. And this is on this beautiful orange. You can see what I got done on that. Did not make a lot of progress. So, hoping to get a lot more done in those five days. That's one project and bear with me I'm going to kind of put things back so that I don't have a big big mess I am going to try to open the, the door here and see if maybe that will help with the blurriness hang on just a second <sighs> I 
Well, I don't know. Maybe it helped a little bit. Okay, so that's one. The next one I'm going to show you is a new start. This was actually my birthday start this year. And that's Aurora by RATM. And this is on Pull Stitches Daybreak. 28 count. And there's there's my pro progress on that one. So I'm hoping to just get a little bit more done on that. I love this fabric. <coughs> Next, I have another one that I started this year. This was from Stitcher's Quarterly. Autumn Spice. And it's on the gingham uh, 14 count that came with the kit. And there's my progress. Really did like this one a lot. Oops. Next up is another one I started this, this year. Called Bluebell by Nora Corbett. And this is done on Be Stitch Me. It doesn't have a name. It's a Jobelin 32 count. And there's my start. I hope to make more progress on that one. Next up is another one I didn't work on at all last year. This is uh, Dorothy's Discovery by Silver Creek Samplers. It's on Pale Meadow 28 count by Pull Stitches. And this had a really small start, so I really need to get to work on that one. Next up is one I didn't stitch on at all last year. It's a Joan Elliott called Enchanted Aurora. There it is. I was trying to look to see what, I, what fabric this is. It's a pull stitches. It may be the, the called for, but I'm not sure what it is. I don't have the name of it in here, but it's a real dark gray, and there's my progress on that. So, anxious to get more. You know what? That's upside down because that's the wolf. There we go. We can see the wolf coming together. There we go. So, I really do enjoy this one a lot once I get going on it. The fabric is a little bit hard to see, but once I get going, it's not too bad. I kind of, I've kind of get used to it. Okay, and then another one that was a, a start uh, this year. It was the companion piece to my um, Joan Elliott Maiden. And this is the uh, Native American Brave. And it's on the same fabric, the green. It's a, I believe it's a 16 count, pretty sure, and the tiniest of starts. So, need to get back to that because I would like to get those both framed and hanging in my living room. Okay, next up is Pretty Little Washington. This was a new start this year. I think I started this on in, in, Inauguration Day, I believe. Pretty Little Washington by Setsuma Street. And this is on the uh, 14 count Fiddler's Ada. And there's my start. 
So I hope to work on this one some more before we do it. <coughs> Next up, let's see, is um, Seeking Refuge. This was another one I did not, I don't believe I worked on it all last year. If I did, it was very little. So I love this piece and I do want to get this finished sooner rather than later. And this is just on a mushroom Lugana. And there's what I've got so far. So I've got a decent start on this one. But I just never did get it pulled out last year. So, or this, this year. Since we're so close to the year, it's hard to know what to say anymore. <laughs> Can't believe 2021 is almost over. Alright, next up is... Beatrix Potter. This is another one I did not work on at all last year. I took it out a couple times and maybe put just a couple stitches in it. But, um, there we go. By Primitive Hair. When I pulled it out, for some reason I just wasn't in the mood, but I really don't want to finish this because this is going to go in my, uh, my book room. And I have all my stitches of, of different books and authors. So there's is my progress on that and this is on uh legacy 28 count lagana by picture this plus i think it looks really good on that so i do want to get back to this one all right next up is a uh, snow white thomas kincaid kit did not work on this one at all and I really do like this one also. This one, I was a restart. I did not like the fabric. Well, I found out everybody was saying that the fabric wasn't big enough for it. And when I counted out, mine was going to be that case also. So I went ahead and got, this is a 14 count, I believe. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a, a gray. And there was my start. I said this is a, just about a full coverage piece. There's very little that's not stitched. It's just that little bit up there in the sky that's, that's not stitched. So that's a pretty big piece. So, next up is Strawberry Fairy. Another one by Soda Stitch. There she is. Didn't stitch it on her at all last year for some reason. Oh, and this is on... 14 count Ada Artiste Vintage Blue. But it has a bit of modeling to it, which is I really do like. I don't know if you'll be able to see the modeling or not, but it's a yeah, it's a blue, but it's got a little bit of white. You see the smallest of starts because I read this was another restart. I had it on on a pink um opalescent 32 count and I, I just I couldn't see see it good at all. And so I decided to restart it on, on this. So that was kind of a, a restart when I got it. Because if you look um, right here, they've got where they did it on a blue. And I thought that looked nice. So I decided to do that. Even though I really did like that opalescent, it was just, I was just never going to finish it on that because it was too hard, hard to see. Let's see. Next up is... Summer at Cherry Hill. Now this one I pulled out just because it's kind of a large piece and I want to make sure I continue to make progress on it because I, this is one I just really, really like. So I just wanted to put it on my Whipco board because I really enjoy stitching on it. And this is by, um, With Thy Needle. And there's, there's my progress. I'm making good progress on it. Unless I really love this piece. And so I like, I, I just want to make sure I do work on it next year that doesn't fall through the cracks, so I went ahead and just put this one on my whip go board. Okay, next up, Time Traveler by Joan Elliott. This is another one I did not work on last year. You know, I did a lot during um, Joan Elliott July, but there just wasn't time for me to stitch on all of the ones I have of hers because I have like seven or eight and this is on um cauldron 28 count by pictures plus that i absolutely love 
<clears throat> this is another one I had to restart because the piece I had was um, a 32 count and I was having trouble seeing it. And I think it was a linen. I think that's what the deal was. It was 32 count linen and between linen and 32 count, I was like, oh my gosh, it just wasn't happening. So I restarted it because I really like this fabric. So there's my start. Sorry, it's just so blurry. I don't know why it's so blurry. So there's that. So that one will for sure get, get five days now. So we'll get some good progress. Because I had made pretty good progress on it the first time. I hated to restart it, but I just knew I wasn't ever going to finish it on that other fabric. All right, next up is Prey. This was a, um, I think this was a new start this year. Teresa Kogut. And this is on, picture this plus sand. Six, a 16 count. And there's my progress. And this one is also going to be a full coverage. It's all, all of that is stitched, even though I don't know. I'm right now. I, I didn't stitch this part, and I may not. Let me see. Maybe it's not all. Yeah. No, it's not all stitched. That part's not stitched. Okay. I was thinking it was all stitched, but it's not. A lot of it is though. Most of it is stitched. The only part not stitched is is this this is that right there and then kind of on that side so it's it's a lot of stitching so. next up oh, only two three more four more the next one did not get stitched on at all last year part of the reason this didn't get stitched on i pulled it out several times every time i got ready to do it the color that i needed i didn't have so after this video, I'm fixing to actually go through all these and make sure I do have all the floss and get all the floss ordered so I'm ready for the new year and have the colors that I need. So this is the blue flower, Night Walk Down. Another one I really, really like, but like I said, I did not have the, the fabric. This is on, um, oh, it doesn't say. It's a blended needle, Lugana, but it doesn't have a color name. I really liked it because it's got kind of, it's kind of a rose, kind of a rose color, which is kind of, which I thought would look good. So that's my start. So yeah, um, got to make sure I've got all the threads for this because I really did want to use the called for threads because I thought it, she did a really, I really liked the colors that she used. So I did want to stick with the colors. All right, next up is my um, old stitchers quarterly bag is um suffrage act by little house needleworks and i started this on um i believe i started this on president's day i know it was some kind of patriotic some kind of holiday <clears throat> but not very much. So I'll start. But I'm excited to get back to that one. Well, I've got that going the right way. I'm looking at that and it's like, you would think it would go that way instead of this way. Uh, and it's on, I just saw Heritage. I'm on Heritage also. So, yeah. So, I'm anxious to get back to that one. I think that one, this one could be actually be a finish this year. Five days on that would, would get a lot, a lot done. All right, down to the last, last two. All right, this is, uh, oh, this is what I just, just started. You saw, oh, I don't have the, um, the picture, cover picture. This was in that Winds of Autumn, um, book by Blackbird Designs called A Mighty Acorn. I know y'all have seen it. But there was there was my start on that. It's got the big oak tree and the, um, the squirrels. So, so there was my start. And this is just on a, a mushroom lugana, 28 count. So this one will have a ways to go, but five days on it next year it should help it a lot. 
And then the last one is one that you've seen forever. I'm determined to get this thing finished. That's why I put it on my whip go. My gourmet ABCs, the one that never ends. I am so determined to get this finished next year. So I put, put it on my whip go so at least it'll get a little bit of extra time. So there it is. Um, you can see, I mean, I've got a lot of it done. But I just need to focus. And this needs to be a focus piece so I can get it finished. <coughs> but luckily, I have been doing a lot of the back stitching as I go on a lot of it. So it won't be so overwhelming with the back stitch. Some of the sections I haven't back stitch but a majority of them I have so so that's my whip go now I did add a few other things so I've got these pieces all on there and then I have two slots that are just holiday stitching five days of holiday stitching I actually saw this from a coffee stitcher had posted this morning that that's what he did and I said that's not a bad idea just to have a holiday stitching on there so I have two so that way depending on when it falls you know, if that number gets pulled, gets called, you know, in December, I'll, of course, do December stitching. If it gets called in spring, I may do Easter stitching. So that way, having that on there, I can kind of stitch whatever holiday I feel like when it's called because I am kind of a seasonal stitcher. Because before I had some Halloween pieces on there and I thought, well, if I, you know, those get called in March, I may not be in the mood to stitch those. Where So I thought, well, if I put holiday stitching, then I can stitch whatever holiday is calling to me at the time it gets gets called so i thought that was a good idea i like that idea and then i have one um, slot called stitching with the housewives because i have a lot of stitching with the housewives um, patterns a lot that i want to stitch i have all of the little um vegetable seeds that i really want to do and i started gingerbread cookies and i've started uh, September trucking along. I've got December and January's calendar crates to start. So I decided I'm just going to have a stitching with the housewife week. So at least there'll be one week, you know, one five days that I can devote to the stitching with the housewives. And it's like, who knows what I'll do? I may start one each day. I may just concentrate on one. Who knows what I'll do? But I have, have that slot. And then another one is the Waxing Moon Trio because I have three of those right now. I've got I started the Haunted House Trio, the Christmas House Trio, and I have the Thanksgiving Turkey Trio that I haven't started any of these. So I thought I could spend a week and do, you know, one of the ones I've started already or do the turkey one. So I decided since I had three different projects there, that would be good to, to put on there. So that's my Whip Go 2022. I hope you enjoyed seeing those. I'm very excited about them. I can't wait to start. I'm so excited. Can't wait to see what the first two projects will be in January. So anyway, if you have any questions about any of those projects, just uh, leave a comment below and I will answer. So that's all I have today. But like I said, be watching for my uh, finish parade and my uh, plans, which like I said, the plan video won't be a terribly long video because this was a lot of the plans already because you can see they're uh, five days so that's going to be you know two ten days of my month just on my bibco projects so but in my planning video i'll show you what i'm going to plan to do on the weekends and those other two weeks so everybody have a merry christmas if i don't pop on before then and everybody stay safe and i will talk to you soon bye